Welcome to Dark Horse Rowing. We are talking today about erg repair, how to work on your own machine if something goes wrong, when it goes wrong. Most of the time it doesn't. These things are pretty much bomb proof. But there are some basic maintenance things that you can do yourself that are pretty easy. Um, parts from Concept2 are fairly inexpensive. The only thing that really costs much would, if, would be if you had to replace the monitor. Um, but other than that, this machine is pretty easy to work on. So we're just going to cover some of the basics here. Now, first things first, if uh, over time you find that your chain has rusted, uh, if you have a rusty chain, replace it. It may take you an hour and a half or so to replace the chain. You'll need to get into the underbelly of the machine uh, in order to fix that. We're going to show you how to get into that underbelly and where to look. Um, next. If, uh, if you have any issues with your flywheel, getting into the flywheel housing, pretty easy. Um, and it's something that we should do maybe every six months to a year. It's just a good general cleaning tool. So number one, you're gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew this guy right here. And you're gonna pull this mesh cage out. Now what you'll find is that this mesh cage is one long piece. It's not a circular unit. So both ends come around and attach here. So I'm gonna loosen them and then I'm gonna pull this guy out. Okay, so once I pull that out, then I'm gonna come around to the front and I'm going to take out these four screws. One, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna pull the face plate off. So once I've pulled that face plate off, that's gonna give me access to the inside. Having access to the inside means that I can then clean the flywheel. Getting in there, I'm gonna take out any dust bunnies, I'm gonna take out everything that I can find that's in there, and you may actually be surprised with how dirty it is if you've never cleaned the thing. Uh, so you're gonna clean that up. Once it's clean inside, you're gonna put the faceplate back on, put those screws back in, put the sheath back in, reattach it underneath this guy, and you're good to go. Next, over time, you may find that these bolts start to loosen, and you may find some missing. Make sure you repair the, or replace those immediately. You do not wanna let this machine start to rock back and forth, because by letting that happen, um, you're putting more torque on the machine and on the legs that is really good for the machine. So there are eight bolts that you need to worry about. Four down here, and then you have two on this back leg and two on this front leg, which connect it to the body. Always keep those things A, tight, and B, make sure you have them. If you don't, get in there, fix those things, okay? Um, finally, if you have to replace the monitor, again, it's expensive, so hopefully you don't have to. Or if you just wanna put a new monitor on, uh, all you're gonna do is pull this bolt out put on your new piece. Now you can retrofit newer monitors to older machines, in which case it's a bit more extensive, but the instructions will come with the whole retrofit kit. Finally, getting into the belly of the beast. So this one, we're gonna get into the belly of the beast for if you need to replace your shock cord or the bungee that's underneath, uh, if you need to replace your chain, those are really the two reasons that you would get into the underside. So to do that, you're going to lift up on this handle and then lift at the center. And the machine comes apart into two pieces. Hopefully you know that, but if you're ever transporting the machine, this is how you want to do it. You want to break it into two pieces instead of transporting it as one. It's much easier, takes up less space, and a lot less cumbersome. So once we get these two detached, we flip up this front end. From here, I'm going to take out this plastic sheath. That gives you the bottom of the machine. Now you can see here you have your bungee, and you also have your chain. And you can also see that this is where the bungee attaches to the chain, and we have, our, um, we have our pulleys in here as well. So this is the whole inner working. Now this is fine. You don't have to replace your bungee if it's still intact. It can even be kind of fuzzy. Um, the only time you need to replace that, that bungee, that shock cord, is when you can see the elastic underneath. Now if you can see the elastic, it's time to replace it. But this is where you're gonna go when you need to work on the underside. Now, if we need to tighten that shock cord, that bungee, all we're gonna do is get in here and the bungee is attached on two sides, the left and the right. And this is the way the hooks face. On the left, it's away from us. On the right, it's towards us. So I'm gonna grab this hook on the left side. I'm gonna pull it out and that's our hook. From here, I'm gonna feed slack through here, which is just gonna put more tension on the bungee Okay, I will do this on both sides and then I re-tighten it. So I'll have maybe this much slack on the other side instead of this small amount of slack. When I'm done, I feed it back in, hook it on, 
and then I'm gonna duplicate that on the other side with the hook facing towards me. Once I've done that, I can put that sheath back in. And then I can reattach my pieces. Et voila, our machine is back together. Perfect working order. All right, guys, that is your basic erg repair. Um, there are plenty more that you can do, but this is a good general repair technique. Uh, if you have some greater issues, always go to Concept2. They will answer all your questions. But most of the things you do with this machine, you can do yourself. You don't need to hire somebody. As long as you have some basic tools, you're good to go. All right, guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing signing off. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you go sign up for our newsletter, The Hustler's Guide to Rowing, in which you'll receive our latest video like this one and our latest blog post every Tuesday morning before anybody else. See you on the other side. <laughs>